guys and welcome to the Istanbul vlog part three. I'm so sorry it's been uh, more than a few weeks since I posted. But anyways, here we are. So I'm still in Istanbul. So I moved to another household um, that was outside the city. And I don't know, I started feeling kind of weird. I almost didn't even record anything today. But at the last minute, I decided to kind of go back into the city, bring my camera with no real plan just to kind of find some interesting stuff to record. <music> About to get on the metro to go into an area called Taksim Square. It's kind of like a big uh, touristy area, but there's nice shops and it's like a cool vibe. My goal today is to kind of capture some of the uniqueness that I've kind of seen throughout the city. I don't really have like a specific to-do list or anything. I was just gonna kind of walk around and capture things that I think look striking, of which I found like a lot over the two or three days that I've been here. So, um, but I can't film inside the um, the metro area. They get kind of weird about that. All right, just got to Taksim Square. Uh, sure enough, like eight seconds after I ended that video, one of the security guys came over and started hassling me. He's like, use that camera off. I'm like, it's off, dude. I'm not gonna record any any doors opening, I promise. This is Taksim Square. Something under construction there. There's a thing. Apparently it used to be a lot greener here, but it's kind of changed over the last year or two for reasons that I'm not gonna go into. That was nice. So I realized when I got there, I, I arrived too late to really go film some of the stuff I wanted to. So I was trying to look for a nice place to catch the sunset when I came across this place. What did you say your name was? Uh, my name is George. George. Yeah. Cool. It's they, they used to call me George. And George, what's your puppy's name? Um, sapphire, like stone, like mineral. Oh, so pretty. That's a good picture. He's a Siberian ball. He, he must be pretty. Is he full wolf? Yeah. Oh my god, it's terrifying. I'm partially terrifying. <laughs> So I took a picture of this wolf and George and put it on my Instagram. He said it was a full wolf, which I didn't know when I started petting him. And the wolf was very kind, very sweet. But there was a moment there when George was kind of like looking around and make sure, making sure there were no other dogs around. And he's like, hey, if, there, if another dog shows up, we, we need to go because it can get very aggressive. And like his, uh, George's like adult friend was there. So I actually took the wolf off the leash. I pet the wolf for a second and we were just kind of talking. George noticed that there was another animal nearby, another dog, and he's like, okay, we have to, we have to go. So we quickly put the leash back on. The, the atmosphere just became a little more charged, I would say. Nothing happened. Um, the wolf didn't attack or anything like that, but it was definitely like, I don't know, it was like some of the people that knew like the wolf owners were like talking and they're basically, I think they're basically like, hey, like you need to go, that kind of thing. I, uh, I had no idea that was there and it kind of, that kind of made my day. I walked over to this area, but then I realized I was too late to really catch the sunset. So then I tried to hoof it towards the ocean side where I've been before. I went, I went a different way, like kind of wanted to explore for a second and I came across are we gonna focus? Is this gonna happen? Are we focusing? As I was saying uh, before my camera decided not to focus, that was like a super welcome surprise. I just kind of went down a different road hoping I'd find something and I did and I came across this like beautiful and there's just all these people there just kind of hanging out, talking, smoking. And that scene was just totally like complete contrast from the rest of the city. And the rest of the city is honestly, it's like, it's a chaos. But this little, this little area we're in is like, it's nice. Anyways, so then I left there and I walked around Taxine a little more and I stopped at a coffee shop where I was getting a little bit of attention. Bye guys. Bye. Yeah, sometimes these things happen. So then I left there and then I started walking around Taxine a little more and by this time it's nighttime. <laughs> That guy has a guaranteed harder job than you do. And I was just kind of recording stuff when I ran into an old friend. Hi, how are you? This is a great guy, Jack. This is I'm a happy great... to meet him. 
This is my old, this is, this is my old hostel. Hostel <laughs> leader, hostel boss, hostel owner. Adventurous hostel. Adventurous hostel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, how about you? Cool? man. So I was just walking around doing some filming. Into, uh, what was your name? What? Xiao Xiao Tong. He's a Chinese person, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's this way? Where does this way go to? He's going to... Can I come with you? I mean, you speak Chinese. He doesn't speak English, so... You speak English, don't you? <laughs> oh god, no. Do so you want me to translate? Uh, you just so Google Translate. Megan speaks English. She speaks Chinese. It'll be my first professional translation job. I'm very excited. I'm gonna tell them all the wrong things so that by the end of the night they hate each other. <laughs> <laughs> so Engen and the girl, Xiao Tong, we kind of walked around Taksim a little bit more together and I was kind of translating a little bit, which was interesting. This kind of restaurant. Just like a little turn off off that main street. There's little hidden nuggets everywhere. So Ingen was just saying that this used to be this area just used to be full of like tables and patio furniture, like so, you know, if you were like a Sunday brunch or something, like it was all filled with here. But over the last year or two, like some political figures came through and they didn't like the look of it, um, so they kind of just yeah i've heard that from a few people that texting is just kind of changing slowly or quickly but it's just changing it's becoming more uh they're saying conservative so it's becoming a little more conservative they're like building a mosque and stuff apparently the look and the feel are changing i don't know that i haven't i've never this is my first time here so i have no idea there were these little pockets of areas throughout uh Taksim that had just like bits of culture just kind of spliced into them interesting if, one more time, if there's chicken, there's what? If there is, uh, if somewhere there's a uh, kabuk tanar, which is chicken yeah. kebab, huh. uh, there's a hope there. Ah, yeah. where there's a chicken kebab, there is hope. Yeah. That's good. Apparently the oldest train station in Istanbul, and it looks very old. 143 years old. Engin. Hey. Hey, man. What is this place? Galata Tower. Galata Tower. Yeah. It's got a lot of. It's got a lot of stuff on this terrible. It's got a lot of Galata Tower. Got a lot of stuff. Got a lot of stuff. Let's go. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Child. Nugget. Nugget. Whose child is that? Oh, it's your child. We want to get kebab. It's on here somewhere. To sit together. Yes. That's exactly what I wanted. Exactly. Then I caught just an interesting little bit with uh, street music in the background, just just next to this this man who was kind of off in his own world, let's say. everywhere in the city and nobody nobody messes with them it's really nice okay I gotta go I gotta go it's cold out and I don't have a fur kitty coat like you do yeah and then I and then I got in the metro and I went uh, back home outside the city
boss. It was an interesting vibe for me. Like uh, I was kind of getting the feel of the city a little bit. And, and I meant what I said earlier, the city is very, very chaotic. Um, it's very raw. It was hard for me to really feel comfortable there. So that was my third day. I'm super glad I ran into uh, Ingen because he's just a really nice, easygoing guy, super friendly, as you guys can see from the video. Running into him and then seeing that like beautiful sunset, that beautiful uh, ocean view, just kind of flipped my flipped how my day was going because I was kind of bummed at the beginning of the day. I don't know why. I just wasn't feeling just wasn't feeling it. That was my day. I'm totally glad that I decided to go out and go into the city and I brought my camera and stuff. So this is part three of the Istanbul vlog. I've got three or four four more. If you guys liked it, please share. I would appreciate it. And uh, check back in over the next few days. I want to try and post one every day until all the Istanbul footage is, is released into the world. Okay, I'll see you guys later.